Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to review this cordless screwdriver from Aldi's and I'm going to tell you right now it's actually kind of great. So a while ago I was at Aldi's wandering around and I usually like to go out in the aisle where they have the miscellaneous stuff because you never know what you're going to find. Uh, they might have a ladder there. They might have uh, some toys for your kid. I got a kids. I got a, a nice kite there. I haven't tried it out, but it was five bucks. I mean, you can't really go wrong for five bucks. And I kind of feel the same way about their tools. Um, I did get burned on. Well, I guess I mostly got burned. I got burned on the uh, the clamps, and on the calipers. Those are a piece of junk too. But this has actually turned out to be really good. It's totally worth ten dollars. So, what I like about it is first of all it comes with a whole bunch of bits so you have a standard Phillips and then you can just easily rotate it and now you have the square drive or it should be called a Robertson drive I was a little bit curious about the end on this it's actually like not tapered usually it's got a taper so it's narrower at the end than it is further back um, but the reason is I think on this design because the bits are not held in this thing like super securely to make it easy to pull out so um, if it gets wedged in to the uh, like here's a square drive um, screw if it gets wedged in there then you're gonna be pulling this the bit out every single time that you're uh, driving in a screw which I, I experienced that because I actually tried using it from uh, from the set I got here so normal a normal set of um, like the hex bits does fit in here so you can just take these out and pop in any size you want but like I was saying like this is a square one if you use it on whoops if you use it on one of these screws it's gonna get wedged in there and then it's gonna be you're gonna be pulling out this uh, this bit every time that you drive a screw. So not the end of the world. But that is why it's designed like this. So you have all different kinds. Um, uh, there's hex, little tiny hex. And I guess the, ol the only bits I don't particularly like are the flathead ones because those are rather small. There's a yeah, this is the biggest one, and so it's not terribly big. If you compare it to like a flathead screwdriver, I mean, obviously there's a there's a huge difference there. Focus. Yeah, but it still works. It still gets the job done. And how often are you really using square drive or I mean uh, flathead? I'm not using it a whole lot. Uh, does it have any power? It has some power. Uh, let's demonstrate. I got a piece of pine here. I'm going to drill some holes in it and uh, then we're going to see how well it actually works for driving in screws. I'll mention one thing I really like about this thing is usually when I'm driving in screws what I'll do is I'll take my drill and I'll drill however many holes I can and then I'll take out the bit and then I'll put in a bit for you know for driving in the screw the screws um, and then I'll go back and forth so you're always taking out the drill bit and putting in the screw bit it's kind of a pain in the butt so here now I can do some holes and then I got my trusty screwdriver here you can go back and forth it actually saves a lot of time uh, it's very convenient. So a lot of guys will have two like decent uh, drills and they'll do that. But but here I got my little cordless screwdriver and it accomplishes the same thing. So I got a square drive um, screw here with a somewhat properly sized hole. So if you have the right sized hole, it actually will do a pretty darn decent job 
of driving in there. As you can tell, it has just enough torque to be able to drive it down, which I don't know, is it a, is it a benefit or like is it a pro or is it a con? I guess to my mind, as I'm thinking about it, it's actually a pro because it encourages you to use the proper hole for your screw. I mean, you can, if you want to, like this is maple. I don't know if I, I think I said it was pine, but it's actually maple. If you want with a normal screwdriver, well, not, not a screwdriver, with a drill, you could just freaking drive this thing in here and, and split it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I mean, it's doing pretty good, really. I mean, <laughs> for con considering how cheap this thing is, it's doing a pretty good job. I mean, you could do that with a with a uh, with a drill. Most drills, anyway, they got plenty of torque to them, so you can just drive a screw into just about anything. Um, but this actually encour encourages you to use the correct size hole. So as you can see, it's got decent forward, decent reverse. Um, one thing that I've tried that they say not to do is they say you can't use this thing as a drill. It doesn't have the proper speed to it. Well, I mean, have you ever used a brace and bit? You don't have any speed when you're using a brace and bit. But you can still drill with it. So can you drill with this thing? Uh, if you have, so this is one of those, um, those like it's got the chamfer bit on it. Uh, or it's countersink. So it's for countersinking. Will it work? Well, let's find out. Yeah, so it actually does work. I'm not gonna say it works great. It certainly is kind of slow, but in a pinch, it does do the job. One bummer is that because it doesn't actually like clamp onto these bits, um, you do have to kind of twist them out of there. But it's got enough power to do it. And I've actually used it a few times in situations where I didn't want to bother with bringing out my corded drill because I only have a corded drill. I should get a, a one that's cordless, but that's what I have. But if you're doing like a quick job where you just need to make a hole in some drywall or something, yeah, it'll it'll work. It it certainly gets the job done. It's got a little battery indicator here. It'll tell you right now we're at about well, I don't know. Two bars or so. Something like that. I'm, I've really been surprised how long the battery lasts. I've actually never had it run out. Um, and it's not like I've been real diligent about charging it either. And honestly, I think it's probably been about two weeks since I've used this thing. So it, it holds its charge in between pretty well, at, at least right now. There is no way to change out the batteries. So once it's done, it's done. But then again, like, keep in mind, this thing costs $10. So if you get like, a year's worth of use out of it, you've probably gotten more than your money's worth when you think about it. Overall, this thing is a great little tool and it's totally worth more than the $10 I paid for it. If you have found a tool that is worth way more than you spent on it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.